Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be filming my August favourites for you. I cannot believe it is August already, like this year is going so quickly, so yeah, I've just got a few bits that I just wanted to show you, what are my August favourites. I've not done a favourites video in a while, um, and I'm sorry if some of these things are repeated, I can't remember what I put in my last favourites video, but there's a few things that I feel need mentioning again, because I've still been using them, I've still been loving them, and yeah, just wanted to show you what they are. So, first thing I will start with is this perfume. So, this is a Beyonce perfume, and it's the Heat one. Um, I've never used her perfumes before, but I just love this. I got bought this for Christmas last year, and I've used it all summer long. Um, I just find it's really summery scent, it's really fruity, and it just smells delicious. It smells a little bit like mangoes, but it just reminds me of my holiday to Greece, so that's why I love this. So the next thing I've been loving, I mentioned in my last video that was about my isotretinin treatment for my acne, and it is the Body Milk in the Coconut Flavour by Body Shop. I just love this, and I've loved it throughout summer. Um, I really used to love using the body butter and I feel like I love using that in winter more than in the summer. I just find this dries a lot quicker and it's a lot lighter on your skin and it's really a lot easier to put on because of like the spray cap with the body butter you like putting your fingers in it and it gets all behind your nails and stuff and it's disgusting. Um, so I've been loving this at the minute and it smells delicious. I don't find the scent as strong as the body butter which I don't... I don't mind it but I would prefer it to be a little bit stronger like the body butter but I feel like that's just because maybe that goes on a bit thicker I don't know but I still love this and I've been using it every single day to smell delicious now on to beauty things so again I don't know if I've mentioned this before I feel like it has been in a video but I don't know if it's been in the favourites so it's NYX Wonder Stick um, so one side you've got like a highlighting stick which I don't use very often or at all and the other side is like a contour stick and this is just really inexpensive it's really cheap and it's just really good really good quality it blends really well the color of it's really nice and I just really like using it it's really easy to use and you know you're not you're not scared to use it because it's not expensive and um, like some makeup I get I'm like oh I don't want to use that because you know it cost me like 30 pounds but this is like I'm sure it was like less than 10 pounds so you don't mind using it and it lasts a while as well so I just really love that the next thing by NYX that I've been loving is I feel like this could have been a favourite as well and I'm really sorry if it has um, it's the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara so I have this in the colour Espresso and I just love this it's so pigmented um, you can literally just use this on your brows and use nothing else which I love um, and it's really really cheap I think this is like six pounds and it's probably the best six pounds I've ever spent on makeup ever and I've got my best friend to thank for that <laughs> and they do it in loads of different shades as well they do a clear version and they have like blonde versions and like black lighter brown yeah they have quite a variety so they're really good and then the last no not the last the next beauty thing is this lipstick by Rimmel it's the Kate Moss range in number 08 so it's like this really like nudey pink colour um, I find that this is a really good dupe for what I think Velvet Teddy looks like on other people and by that I mean because my skin tone is so pale I feel like Velvet Teddy just looks really brown on me um, and on other people it looks really pink so I bought this and I feel like this is what Te Velvet Teddy looks like on other people but on me so I'll just swatch a bit on my hand <laughs> I don't know if that made any sense but it isn't a matte matte finish like Velvet Teddy it's quite like a shimmery colour so you can see it's just quite pink but it looks like a little bit brown and but more pink for me for my skin tone and I just really love it and it's really inexpensive it smells delicious and I love it so that's in my face and then the next thing like I know this has definitely been in my last favorites video but there's just one color in here that I just wanted to point out that I've been using quite a lot and it's a highlight shade so it's the Carly Bybell palette by BH Cosmetics and the color that I've been loving is this highlight shade just there this is beautiful 
I use it as highlight, I use it as eyeshadow, I just use it as anything and I just find it's really nice on my skin tone this one is and it's really natural looking and it just gives you just a really lovely glow. I love this palette, it's like my go to palette, I pick it up for everything now so I love it but yeah I just wanted to point out that shade, I'm not sure which one it is because I've lost the thing from it but I love it. So the next two things are items of clothing and then I've got one more thing which is YouTube based. So I bought these shoes from Sainsbury's. I absolutely love these. They were, I feel like they were £20 but I just love this mustard colour at the minute. So it's got like the really lovely ruffles on the edges of them and just one band across and then it's like stitching and they are so so comfortable. I just love them and this leads me on to then the next thing I bought which is this beautiful faux suede coat from Zara so I feel like I bought this and I feel like I've worn it more or less every day <laughs> since I got it and I just love it because it's got this lovely mustard yellow on the outside and then it's got the black on the inside so I roll the sleeves up so it's got that black sort of bold statement on the on the arm and then what I love about it is that it's got this black trimming I don't know if you can see that on the coat and that's all over the coat and I just think that look, makes it look really expensive and it isn't it was 39.99 from Zara and I just love it and it really like gives a pop of quality outfit and it matches my shoes and I just love it it's my favorite coat ever <laughs> So the next thing I have been absolutely obsessed with this month is a new YouTube channel that I found that has been around a while, they've got quite a few subscribers but I've only just discovered them and it's a channel called Mr Kate. So this is it just here and they've got loads and loads of videos and it is predominantly like a interior design YouTube account and it's got two lovely lovely people called Kate and Joey and they go around doing interior design on people's houses and they also did like a playlist of them doing it in their own home which they bought and it's, it's just amazing and I love that kind of thing, I love anything design, I love anything interiors and if you're into that kind of like decorating, inspirational interior design you will love this channel she does a lot of DIYs which are really great because it's really inexpensive DIYs and it's just really simple but things that look absolutely beautiful in the end and she also does like her older videos which are like makeup videos nail tutorials makeup tutorials and then she's got like playlists of like breaking beige which is where they go into people's houses and break them off their beige walls and make it just more interesting and they've got like omg we're coming over and they've got that as a youtuber edition which is actually how i found their channel was through grace helbig and memory hearts channels um and ever since then i've just been obsessed so I would really recommend checking out their channel, it is amazing and I love it and if you just want to be inspired for the day, go over there, watch their videos and enjoy! <laughs> so that's everything for my August favourites this month, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you did and I will see you next time, bye!